I'm Chase from Texas. I grew up in a conservative home, and I've been a moderate Republican ever since I started following politics. George W. Bush and John McCain were childhood heroes of mine, and they always will be. I support low taxes, I'm pro-life, and I firmly believe in capitalist meritocracy. But the values of the Republican Party that I grew up admiring changed in a nasty way in 2015 and 2016 with the rise of Donald Trump. Ideas such as the liberation of Iraq in 2003, support for free trade, strengthening the NATO alliance, and comprehensive immigration reform were cast aside in favor of isolationism, nativism, and xenophobia, and a borderline personality cult. Trump has said he will put America first, but time and time again he has given words of comfort to our enemies, while casting aside our allies. He has violated the moral principles of the office in which he holds, has undermined American faith and democracy, and has continuously sought to promote what divides us rather than what unites us. His poor leadership has shown again in this current pandemic, where well over 100,000 American lives have been lost, and he continuously downplayed the severity of the crisis. I did not vote for Trump in 2016. I wrote in Jeb Bush, and I won't vote for him in 2020. I will vote for Joe Biden. I have many disagreements with Biden, and no doubt I will criticize him if he gets elected president. But I will always pick someone I have political disagreements with over someone that I have moral and ethical disagreements. The Republican Party can be saved, and it's worth saving, but not with Trump as its leader. When you vote in 2020, Vote for someone who will give us a stronger America, an America you're more proud to be a part of, that America the world will be proud to follow.